Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Thanks for asking. I'm good too. Hey, look, it's a stream. And I have background music. Not like that's going to be a permanent thing because it's not. But I'm just playing Random Chiptune Mix 32 on YouTube. And it gives the appearance as if I have background music. Except it's not the appearance because you can't see it at all. But what you can see is my iPad. Planet of the Apps and Recordgram can be purchased or downloaded. I don't even think they cost money. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. Also, Ristar is on the App Store, which is cool, except you can just use an emulator and play it for free. But we're not going to look at any of these games. No, we're going to look at these, which are the ones I downloaded before and never got around to playing. And also a few more that I downloaded. Uh, starting with Punk Trader Light. Everything after that is things I downloaded new specifically for this stream. I got a couple of bicycle games because the games involving bicycles from last stream uh, seemed to be pretty interesting. So maybe these will be as well. Or maybe they won't be. My iPad has 69% battery life left. Just figured I should point that out. So let's begin with the start, I guess. Which is here at Finger Maze. It's a maze that you control with your finger. You're downloading a ton of ROMs and ISOs. 61 gigs of PS2 ISOs and you're not even through D. I don't have very many ISOs of PS2 stuff on my computer or any uh, devices for that matter. I have a couple for PS2, Dreamcast, GameCube. But I don't know if you remember... I forget what it was called. Flamin' Maze? Some sort of arcade game. Back like around, I'd say 10 years ago maybe it was popular. Where it was basically exactly this game, but it was an arcade machine. And if you completed the maze before time ran out, you would win a prize or tickets. But it was always rigged so that it was almost impossible to finish before time ran out. However, if you put a little piece of paper of some sort underneath your finger while you played, it would make your finger uh, more slippery, which would allow, uh, give, make it easier to actually complete the maze quickly, and you were more likely to win if you did that. I won some tickets by doing that once at the Dave & Buster's. I went to that Dave & Buster's recently. They don't have a flaming, flaming finger, I think it was. They don't have a flaming finger machine anymore. In fact, they don't have hardly any good machines anymore. They have Mario Kart. That's about it. It's mostly just crappy games that you pay a dollar for, you get to play for five seconds and you win two tokens or whatever. They had a Galaga game that looked interesting, uh, but you only had one life, I think, and you died easily. Also, my space shuttle exploded. Great. Don't you just hate it when that happens? So yeah. I mean, this functions as a Flame and Flinger clone. I feel like even after net neutrality dies, will, there will be ways to acquire those types of software programs. Because someone has to complain about their existence for their existence to stop happening. And a lot of the older games, no one's really going to care. I don't think Sony is that invested in preventing PS1 ROMs or ISOs from being downloaded. Unless they're like games you can get from their store. Okay, you get the idea. I could play that for way too long. You know, here's the incredible machine. This is 
a very interesting app. I don't know if you remember the PC Incredible Machine Games like 15, 20 years ago, or even a bit more than that. Uh, they were pretty great. They were contraption-esque games. If you've ever played Crazy Machines or Contraption Maker, it's basically that same game. Um, and they hadn't been any games in the series since like 2001, but then Disney bought the license and made this app, which um, doesn't work. The screen's in the wrong orientation and you can't actually press the buttons. So like, I, I can tap the buttons, but the issue is the menu button, you see it sort of in the middle of the screen. I have to tap the far left corner. So it's like the menu button is where it's supposed to be, but it's not. And the issue is there's a go button on the right side of the screen, which should be the right side of the screen, but it's actually the top of the screen or above the top of the screen. I cannot tap that button and therefore I cannot start this experiment. And therefore I cannot play this game. So that is quite a shame. Um, I wish that app still worked. Because I totally forgot it existed for years uh, until I saw it while going through all my apps. Pirate Waters. Ariel, you want to be a pirate? I don't know what accent that was. It was not a pirate's accent. Oh, cool. My shirt is on the way. Let's do a new game. New game? Yes, I did do a new game. Thank you for reminding me. All right. I can launch pirate balls and shoot the pirate ship. Ka wow! Wow. Ahoy! These are things pirates say. Ah, uh, do you want the health power up? another one. Shiver me timbers! Okay, I'm gonna stop impersonating a pirate now because I'm bad at it. Where's the other ship? There it is. Yay! Ouch. Oh, he ran into me and died. Great. Next level, there is a thing in the middle. A thing being an island. You can pick up things. Those things being bottles. And you can shoot things. Those things being pirate ships. Let's say wow again. Okay, yay. It's not quite wow. Anytime an app says wow with an exclamation mark, that automatically makes it a great app. That being said, this is not a very good app. It's not bad. It's not good either. Cool. Oh, I died. You know, all those pirates who say cool all the time. What do you do here, Doc? Oh, you can buy power ups. I want cannon sail. I have multiple cannons for multiple wows. Okay, I think we get the idea here. Next step is hit me. I have no idea what this is. It looks great already. I think they have ported Sid Meier's Pirates to mobile. I'm pretty sure that's on mobile. Pretty sure you can get that on iOS. So I like how the bottom buttons are cut off below the bottom of the screen. I like how there's no button in the center. And I like how there's an ad on top of another one of the buttons. I'm going to press the go button. All right, was not expecting that. No. What is this? Uh, 
I need an explanation. <laughs> Great. I don't know what this is. Info time ten point zero. Okay. Oh, hey, the other uh, button is here now. <laughs> nice. What does this button do? It crashes the game. Great. Go one. What does it actually do? It actually crashes the game. Does the camera let you take a picture of yourself and hit yourself? I'm not gonna show my face, but no, it just crashes again. I think it's broken at this point. What if we kill it like this? Kill all the other things I've been using as well, which is not much. We'll give it me one more chance. Does the camera do what I think it does? Uh, just breaks. All right, I give up on hit me. Here's Pac Labby. Pac Labby. It has ads. New game, I guess. I remember this game, but I don't know anything about it. Also, turn your head 90 degrees, sorry. So I can tilt my iPad and it just makes the thing go any which way. How do I go? Okay, that jumps, that shoots, and this turns. One hundred percent done! Good play! is just some weird version of Pac-Man. Yeah, I don't get motion sickness either, which is good. Which means I can just do this all day long and be totally fine, but I shouldn't do that in case other people do. Oh, wait, what? Now it's doing it on its own. And now it froze, and now it unfroze. Four lives. Cool. Keep cool. I like how when you finish it just explodes and the stage spins all around. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 94% loaded. It is nine. Okay, there we go. Are there any bosses or enemies, or is it just. Do it. Collect the things. Cool, I got a thing. I don't know what that thing is, but I got it. Five lives. I'm assuming you have to lose lives somehow. But I don't know how. Okay, if there's no enemies on this next level, I'm quitting. I think there might be that blue dot. Also, I should point out how incredibly crisp the textures are. 
No, that was not an enemy. But, like, look how crisp these textures are. Or rather, the complete opposite of that. Oh, I see an enemy! I want to get killed by the enemy. That is definitely an enemy. I got killed. That was whatever that was. And this is Parallaxer. Get the source code at Parallaxer.com. Thanks, dude, who is drawn in five minutes. Oh, what is this? Okay, so you can walk left and right and you can jump. Or you could experience failure. Wait, what? Okay, so that's randomly a spring. I've now moved it to the far right, so I have messed up. Let's try this again. I did it. 102 gold. What is happening? Oops. There's no button indicator to tell you where you can walk and where you can jump. So if you tap at a certain height, you jump and it's... That height is smaller than you think it should be. Also, I really don't want to play this anymore. Because that is not a good game. You know what else is probably not a good game? Winter Sports by Sea Venture. We'll venture out into the sea and play some Winter Sports in 2014. Can I be... North Korea? I can be North Korea. Let's not be North Korea. Let's be our good friends, the Netherlands. Your flag is almost Russia's flag, but not quite. Let's do the bobsled. One man mends it's free, so we can do that. Oh, this is by the same people who did I Roller Coaster, isn't it? I expect nothing but greatness. Okay, those are sound effects. Look at these graphics! Look at this bobsled! What am I looking at? Is this one of those firework pops that's sliding down some ice cream tube with some nuts sticking out of it? That's what I'm gonna go with. I refuse to believe this is an actual bobsled with people in it. This, this is not possible. Also, I'm going at 185 kilometers an hour. That seems... First of all, it seems like I'm not going anywhere near that speed. Second of all, I don't think bobsleds can go that fast. Uh, actually, maybe they can. Towards the bottom of the hill, but also... You know how I'm not accelerating at all? So I'm pretty sure you... Accelerate the whole way down on a bobsled, of course. You don't have a top speed. It's not a car. It's a bobsled. It's different. Also, you should play Yahtzee. Yahtzee. It's not Yahtzee. No, it's a Yahtzee. Finish 2014. Begin 2015. I did it. Oh, I can still sort of move. Sure, add my score to the server records. 
No network connection found. Great. What else is there? Skeleton can't do that. Ski jump, no. We can do women's aerials. Is this what a woman looks like? It's with their hands. Oh, that's... She looks like some weird insect type thing, okay? We're doing the tricks. We're doing the tricks. I think I'm gonna crash into the crowd. This is not good. Oh no. DQ. What are these graphics? My result disqualified. I, I need to do that again. Man, maybe I'm not the worst 3D modeler in the world after all. If this is the developer's attempt at a woman. Ski move. That's a move. Yeah. All right. How do I land? Okay, land it. Nice. I actually landed it. Was that good? I don't know. Also, it froze. Uh, no pun intended. Cool, I I guess that's good. Can't do the snowboarding. I can do the downhill. Downhill skiing, men's downhill skiing. Let's do it. So this is the man. Oh, I started too quickly. Oops. Oh, actually no. What does the woman look like? The same as the other model? Uh, different color scheme. Oh, I did the same thing again. I'm an idiot. Okay, one more attempt. I'm not gonna tap the screen. Now we can go. I was very cautious. Also, what is the font used for the timer? Like, seriously, one and two managed to look almost identical. Like, how do you manage that? I guess one and seven are different enough, but that two in particular is very wonky. It's a wonky font. You may not like it, but this is what ideal performance looks like. This is the ideal woman's figure. You should be ashamed if you don't look exactly like this with your deformed mutant insect hands. Okay, what is the purpose of the minutes counter on the time if we're now at 73 seconds? Like, what are you doing? It's 1 minute 19 seconds, not 79 seconds. What happens when you get to 100? Oh no, I'm gonna finish! I can't finish until I get to 100. Oh, I dq'd. Now we'll never know what happens when you get to 100, because I'm not spending another 100 seconds of my life on this. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed that sound effect. Let's make breakfast. Sunstorm games will help us fix up some nice pancakes and toast. I can even go to the grocery store in the game. I accidentally clicked on the ad. Go back to Breakfast Maker. Make me breakfast. I wonder if this app can make breakfast in real life. That would be cool. What do you guys think? Probably not. Let's press that button. Maybe we'll do things. Pancakes. Tap skillet to add butter. Oh, so that's how you do it. Keep cooking. Wee. Oh. 
Okay, I cooked the pancake. Other foods. I want... Oh, I can't put toast on. I'll put... Yeah, put that on my pancake. <laughs> put spam on my pancake. Pancakes and spam. I like it. That actually looks quite good, whatever it is. I will take that. Uh, I want this plate. Actually, you know, I like the this plate. No, that's actually quite an ugly plate, come to think of it. Uh, I like the default plate, but I don't think that's available anymore. Tablecloth, that one. Gross out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a frog. A nice perspective on the frog. Uh, there's a frog in my blueberry juice. Have a, a spider. I mean, an ant. I know insects. I, I can't put the mouse on. I have to buy that. I have to buy all breakfast items. Rats are breakfast items. And... There we go. I've made breakfast. I ate the breakfast. I can mail that to someone. Or save it in the freezer. How about... Let's not email it to anyone, but pretend we did. Put that in the freezer. And there it is, preserved for all eternity. You can get more items if you buy them with money. Or, you know, don't. Here's a dog drop. Don't drop dogs in real life, they don't like that. Game salad, our favorite. Let's play. World 1, levels 1 through 33, that's very specific. We're not wrong, those are 33 levels. Alright, drop the dog. Let's just tap. Tap the boxes and they go away. I like how they put the smiley incomplete, also tilt your head again. The game cell apps seem to be like that for some reason. Half the time you can't even tap the box. That is very annoying. This is not good. Okay. Bomb. Oh, that doesn't work. That worked. And then... You have to tap like a billion times to get some of the boxes to go away. I think you get the idea. It's one of those games. It's not good. Here's Orochi. I don't know what this is. I think it's some sort of alternate reality thing where it just puts this car on the screen uh, in front of what your camera sees. I might be wrong. It might just be an interactive type thing. Uh, this is a real car, by the way. A Japanese supercar. I think made by Mitsuoka. Not very common. Not very well known, but it is a real thing. And, yeah, you can look at the car. Look at that. It's a car. A very interesting one. You can even look inside the car. This guy was so proud of his one 3D model that he made an entire app around it. And then you can see even less if you want. Just see the chassis itself, no bodywork. There you go. That's the Orochi. Now you know. Oh wait, there was an inside button. Quick, press inside. This is what the inside looks like. Model does not look so good from here, I'll be honest. Uh, I don't think the actual interior was octagons uh, or decagons, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Well, 
That is true. That is only a viewer. But this, this is a maker. A race car maker. And it crashed on launch. Great. Let's kill things. I want race car maker to work. The thing I re okay, it doesn't work. The thing I remember about Race Car Maker was that it was the first app I ever paid money for that I did not like. There you go. That's the entire story. It was one dollar. I learned a lesson to not waste money on apps you know nothing about. And that don't even work anymore. I have no idea where this game is. The title's in Japanese. The buttons are in Japanese. I don't even know which one to start. I'm going to assume the green one. Alright, this looks promising. It looks like a thing. Oh, so this is just... Don't... Don't let go of the screen, don't touch the walls. I get it. Car Viewer is the least bad game, I guess, yeah. It, it sets out to do the least, and it does the least, but it does what it set out to do reasonably well. Yeah, this is also not that bad of a game. Place your bets, when am I going to lose? And the number in the chat, the closest person wins nothing. How do you do that? You can't do that. Well, I tried. You should buy an Audi Q3 from Japan. No matter where you live. Buy the Japanese one. Here's shark bite. Get bit by a shark, it's fun. I could have put a dot on the screen, but my finger was, it's true. It only appears when you lose. Hey, that's a shark, bite me. I tap it and it goes bite, bite. Is this really the entire app? Is this shark bite? You tap a shark, it bites. They're not lying. But they're not exactly telling the truth either. Am I supposed to be eating the bubbles? Is that it? Do I get a score? Do I know what my score is? Will I lose? Is there a game over? I'm just tapping the screen randomly. And it's making a bite sound, and yeah. Uh, what's next? Hobo. I believe this is Hobo, Hobo Simulator. Just what I always wanted to do is simulate being a hobo. And now I get to do it. You can even send me notifications. Oh, I bet this looks great on the stream with all these small icons. Okay, so I've, uh, I have no money. No, I have 200 peas, but I'm going to eat from the trash. I got a bottle. I'm going to wash a car. Can't wash cars before graduating from school. Now, I disagree with that statement, okay? I feel like he could wash a car before graduating from school. But regardless, I need $5,000. I can't go to school without an ID card. Okay. So let's buy an ID card. You can run for president for $1 million. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, aha, get an ID card. 
when your popularity is less than 2,000. That's not how it works. You can get an ID card for existing. You don't need to be popular. I don't need to show you my Facebook profile and say, hey, I've got 2,000 friends. Give me an ID card. They're like, oh, no, you only got 1,999 friends. We can't let you have an identity, sir. We cannot allow that. Get something from the trash again. I'll buy a beer. And I'll eat from the trash. This is a great game. I am lying as well. Uh, okay, can I do any work that doesn't require a job? No. You can't commit fraud if your popularity is less than one million. Well, man, if I knew that, all I have to do is keep my Facebook friend list under one million people, and I am golden. I can commit fraud as much as I want to, and no one can stop me. Man, this game is teaching me a lot of life lessons. I don't know why there's both P's and S's. It said, uh, let me go back actually. It said you can convert uh, 42 P's for $1. And one bottle is one P. So now I have 153 P. I earned three P. I don't know why that makes no sense really. I, I, I get they're trying to show you Hey, it's hard being a hobo, but like it it's not that hard. Like there isn't some sort of bad currency that's not worth as much as the main currency, and you're allowed to be able to wash cars without a high school diploma. Um at least I'm pretty sure. You know, you can offer to wash someone's car and they'll give you ten bucks. Otherwise, you know, all those kids who go mowing people's lawns during the summer, they don't have a high school diploma. How are they doing that? If you need a high school diploma to wash a car, you need a high school diploma to mow a lawn. Here's Pac Pac. Hey, it's Pac Man. It's actually not a bad rendition of The Man of Pac. That is the app I. I clicked yes. Pack pack looking for food. I have one new app of things. Let's look for food, I guess. How will you <laughs> assume the position? How will you hold the device? Regular, top down, sleepy, or custom? I guess regular. Let's, let's start. Eat fruits to get scores. Avoid ghost. So there's multiple scores. One ghost. Got it. Oh. Jesus. Those are fast ghosts. I can't actually collect the things. Okay, there we go. I'm collecting them now. That ghost went straight through me. Wow. What a quality program. I think the app is called Voracious Pack Pack, by the way. Eat 10 ghosts, you die. I got 22 points. Nice. Great game. Hey, here's another bobsleigh app, because the first one was so great. Maybe, maybe I'll be in an actual Bobsley, not a firework pop this time. They've made a couple of games I've streamed before. Let's start, I guess. Race one. Okay, this is not like actual Bobsleigh, because there's multiple Bobsleighs and it's a circuit. 
No, this is just kart racing, but with Bob Slays. Yeah, okay. Alright, physics. Alright. So this is just like that F1 game, except worse. Man, it takes a long time to turn. This is not snow, this is the world's slipperiest ice. I'm stuck on a wall, I'm turning very far to the left. Nearly as good as their F1 game. Also, I think he can get more games for free, but there's a white bar in the way. Okay, I'm done. I've had enough. Let's stack the stuff. So when I was making Everyday Stacker, I was searching the App Store uh, for similar apps, and I found this one, which is a similar app, but not identical. There are significant differences. So you stack this stuff. They did it. New high score! Cool. Yay! Next level. Look at all these erasers. I'm putting on other erasers. I stacked the stuff. Wow! I'm bored already. Next up is Patriotic Missile, I think. By our good, good friends at Mobile Games Pro. In the full version, there are many different, many missions of increasing difficulty. Do you want to see it? No. Let's go. All right. Oh, the camera controls on this are terrible! How do you mess up tilt controls this badly? Okay, tilting left. Okay, now it's working. At first, the tilt controls were reversed, and going right was making it go left, and vice versa. But it seems to have fixed itself automatically. But, like, if you hold up, it keeps going up. It doesn't like... It's not like Splatoon controls where it just makes you point down and you stay down. No, you just keep going more down. So I didn't shoot any of them. Oh, we have more things to choose from. More missiles. I'm patriotic. Nice, I shot the London bus. Can I can I shoot? Oh now the controls are backwards again. Wait, hold on. Uh it's just weird. Like having a steady aim is impossible. Pull up that taxi, there we go. Apparently this is Patriotic Britain. I thought it was the USA at first as well, but clearly not. That's a cloud. And this is Earth. A. R. Well, 
I'd like to access the camera. All right, we get to see my room, I think. Hey, that's that's my leg. And this is this is my setup here. Take a good look, guys, at the completely out of focus. There we go. We had it for a second. There's the chat. This is my computer. And there's Discord and XChat and streams and stuff. I can show you around my room. There's the thing I made years ago. And some notes on a board class schedule. Uh, for next semester, some posters, some old posters. Oh, a whole bunch of things I made years ago on my wall that I just put there. Uh, and I never took down, so they've just been there for many years. And then on that wall is a print I made that won first place in printmaking in ninth grade. That's cool. And that this is my bed, in case you couldn't tell. And those are... Those are some Cheez-Its. This is my table, which is a mess. My computer's underneath the table. Yeah, I haven't done much decorating since, like, 8th, ninth grade, which is why there's all Sonic stuff and weird stuff all around. And here's my closet, and there's a painting I did of me many years ago. And there's my TV, and there's... My game consoles, which you are, you, which are the wrong way on your screen, but there you go. You can see them. And by the way, there's an earth in the middle of this. <laughs> For some reason, here's my amiibo, or one of them. I have many. There's Chibi Robo. Let's see, can I make this spin so you can see my face really quickly. Take a very quick look. Wee! I don't know if you could see that at all. I gotta twist it back. I don't know if you could see my face if it was too blurry or what, but that's as good of a look as you're going to get of my face. Yes, this globe is in my room at all times. Uh, I'm using motion tracking on it, so it's moving around. It was too blurry. Oh. Oh well. I'm basically an, <laughs> I'm actually an Asian woman. I'm not. But I do have very long hair at the moment. Oh, we can put different shaders on the earth. I've got the full shader on this earth. Let me turn it the right way around. There's an idea. Okay, can, can we spin the earth? How... No, the Earth just kind of exists. You have to spin with the Earth. There's more amiibos and things in my knee. Oh, well, we've got normal mapping. All right. Cube mapping. Texture. And lighting. Cool. And then you can combine them to get the full Earth experience. There's my keyboard. There's my mouse. And there's my Kirby amiibo. One of them. I have another Kirby amiibo over there where all my amiibos are. And my Xbox games. I have a lot of them. Got a lot of them. And there they are along with some stuffed animals that I've had for many years. And now you've seen my room. You've taken a tour of my room, and now it's time to play Penguin. By first spin. First spin Penguin. That rhymes. But. Okay. Let's try that again. So it's just. Oh, poor penguin got hit by the snowball. You have to not get hit by the snowballs, and you have to keep walking on the ice things. My high score is 1,945 games that are made me lose. It made the thing laggy. 
great. That was a game. Here's Maze Finger. Um, pretty much like Finger Maze, if you remember that one. First game from the stream. By NG Moko. Header, body, major one, minor one. Major two, minor two. Major three, minor three. Tagline. Okay. I think it broke. Join plus to play. Do I have to? This is even still work. My guess is this is not playable anymore. If it wants me to sign in with plus, I don't think that exists anymore. Maybe it does. Also, yeah. Gamer name. As if gamer tag wasn't stupid enough. No, it's not your username. It's your gamer name. Yeah! For all your gamers out there, you need a special type of name. You know, you're not a user. You're a gamer. You game. You play games. Video games. You play them. You play games. You're a gamer. You need a gamer name. Cave Diver Tommy. Do you think Cave Diver Tommy... Cave... Do you think Cave Diver Tommy has a gamer name? Stop. Prevent your death. I hope I can find Justin. Okay. Avoid the shark. Uh, is this, is this even tilt control? How is this working? There, there might be the illusion of tilt controls here. I, I'm tilting the iPad. Okay. Is it? Oh, I see. I tap the screen for where I want to go. That's a weird way of doing it, but sure. You can see the arrow is where I'm tapping. I need air. I got it, I guess. Get more air. Yay! End my life now. Out of air, I died. Thanks, Jeff Vance. I'm gonna give you a, a small spoiler. Cave Diver, Cave Diver Tommy, not a good game. Whether or not he has a gamer name, inconclusive. Here's Kingdoms K. It's like Special K, but for kings. Kingdoms Keep. Touch screen to start. Okay. A uh, new game? I guess that is a button. Press the arrow buttons to move. X swings a weapon and Y fires any missile items. Walk up to people to talk to them. Okay. Oh, what is this? Did I buy something on Twitch? I don't know. Maybe that's for a subscription. I thought they didn't do subscriptions that way. Whatever. No weapon in your hand. I need a weapon. Note how fluid the movement is here. I ran into a bush and I lost a heart. Nice water. Oh man, this game. This is a quality product here. Don't go too fast or you'll lose health by running into a wall. I found the weapon. I got it. Now I can... Nice cutting out those trees. I can... Now attack. I did it. Okay, it was. You need a key to open the door. I need to talk to this person, I think. The items under ask about you can use in conversations. What? Hold on. The items under ask about you can use in conversations. I have no idea what this is trying to mean. 
click on the below items to ask the person what they know. Okay, me. You look like you could use a weapon. I saw a knife south of here by the wolves. Okay. I already got that. Can I kill you? No. Information. Kill those bats. No one liked them anyway. Oh, here's another person I can talk to. If you have a weapon, you can cut down most shrubs and plants. Sometimes there is stuff under them. I do not recognize you, but maybe somebody in town will. Sorry, I don't know anything about town. Well then... Whatever. Hey, I found the key. Let's enter here. Welcome to my house. I am a healer. Done. Come back anytime you need to be healed. Towns will tend to have healers, as this is a dangerous world. No, I know. I like how that was um, only on the top right of the screen. That was great. So is that what I used my key for? Can I go this way? Aha! Now we're fighting mini Godzillas. I mean, the graphics don't lie. These are great graphics in 1987. Yeah, it says this is running at 60 frames per second. I mean, it's not like something has to happen every frame. Yeah, 60 frames a second, this. <sighs> Am I allowed to stop playing? I mean, I know the answer is yes. Nothing gets anywhere without the Elder. You should look for him. I don't know anything about town. I think I might be the town, but whatever. I'm not playing that anymore, lest I lose my mind. Let's play Japanese game. With Japanese name. Ah, yes. Black screen. I knew that's what it meant. Oh. All right. We've got some nice dialogue here. I know nothing Japanese, so I don't know what's going on. Couldn't tell you. Okay. I'm doing it. Numbers are rising. Ah. Uh... Incredible. So it's just, one of, it's just one of those, isn't it? Here's Petchbell's cannon. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know how to do anything. I don't want to play that. Well, I don't know how to play that. So let's play this instead. Up and away! Play up and away. Oh, I see. <laughs> you have to collect stars, and the more stars you collect, the higher you go. And if you don't collect the stars, you lose. So it's kind of like Doodle Jump in a way, I guess, would be a good comparison. I did, I got 500 points. No, I lost. 
that is not objectively terrible? Maybe timber will be objectively terrible. I like the logo. Very cliparty. Oh, this is literally just a 3D model thing for Lincoln Logs. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not going to spend all the time building things. Are there any preloaded boards, like board 3? No. Aha, I can build whatever that is. I guess this is cool. If you like making logs, you can build them. I built them. Graphics. You know, sometimes I wonder, do we really need graphics? Games like these make me highly undecided. Like, they're bad, but they're good because they're bad. I got 11 points, 12 points, 38 points for shooting those ducks down. Fall very slowly. That's it. That's the game. You won. You beat it. Good job. Congratulations. You done it. One hundred twenty-two is my score. Oh, can you drag to move around? Okay, I see. So it's like the Oregon Trail, I guess, in some way. Except I think... Is it repeating? I don't think so. I think it is random. Randomly generating things to hunt. That's cool. Do, 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 do. You saw a person? Let me, oh, I, go back. Oh, I can't. I saw the person do. There's a person. Minus 64. You know, I had a dream last night that I killed someone in self-defense. And then I got scared because I would have to go on trial. Even though I knew that I would be not guilty on the grounds of self-defense. But I was scared because what if they said I was guilty anyway? But then I woke up and realized it was just a dream. And I was relieved. And that's Trail Hunter. And this is Hungry Ducks. Wah. That's a duck. Let's give it some food. Oh, this is actually quite nice. You give the ducks food and they go berserk over it. God, look at those ducks go. What happens if you give all the food away? Ten thousand breadcrumbs for one dollar. That duck liked it. Run for it. Can you just get 10 for free forever? Why would you not just continually do that? I guess the inconvenience, perhaps, which is fair.
Yeah, I kind of like this. In a strange way. Yeah, that's nice. Here's another game about water animals. So this is a different water animal. This is Flying Gup by SHMG. Help Gup find water. It says Flapping Bird. Oh, it says Flappy Bird. Seaweed. Look at these graphics on these buttons. That player button is Game Center, apparently. Zero, really? Yes, really. Three, six, nine. Great. Number tap. I'm excited to tap some numbers. What about you? All right, ready to tap some numbers. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Three seconds. That was not three seconds, but it was lagging up a storm, so. It's one of the advantages of an iPad lagging, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, that was twice as bad. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, one, eight, six. There we go. I'm getting better. I like this tune actually. You can't go too fast, unfortunately, or else it doesn't register. Which kind of defeats the point of going fast. Okay, place your bets on what my next time's gonna be. Winner gets nothing. 4.85 seconds. If you guess that, you win nothing. But you do win. So congrats. Here's catfish. It's like a fish that's also a cat. Except not at all. That is not at all what catfish is. How do you do this? You have to go like this, I guess. You just go like this and eventually you'll get the fish. You have to get as many fish as you can. I don't know if this is broken or if it's intended to just give you them in very large spurts like this. Yay? Okay, I got four paws out of seven. You know, the, the good old five out of seven ranking is possible here. You know, it's this game, that meme, and the IB program that do that. That's it. No more. No more catfish. Uh, but yes, more. Kura Kura Maze. I don't know what this is. Tap to start maze. Operation tap go forward. Flick right or left moves forward only right or lurfed. Ah yes, lurfed, my favorite. Flick forward, go backward. Wait, what? <laughs> sure if you go flick forward, you go forward. The turn iPhone, the traveling direction changes into the front, back, and right. Hold, measure the distance to a wall forward. Hold plus, turn iPhone, measure the distance to a wall, left, right, and back. Shake iPhone back to operation. Well, thank you for cleaning that one up. Uh, turn your heads if it's rotated. So flick forward, go backward. I, I wanna, I wanna go lurfed. 
guys. So there's this whole thing that you actually can't see the game. It's audio only. So in that case, it doesn't even matter that the screen is rotated. This is just a blank picture. I think I'm stuck. Ah, uh, I need operation. I see if to turn the iPhone. I I I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but what's the goal? Weird sound effects. Well, I don't care. That's Kurakura Maze, the game you can't see because there's nothing to see. Wow. I bet that's the selling point. Wait, why does it want the camera? Why? Por qué? Here's. Oh, now you can actually see my room without an earth in the way. I'll take a picture of this chat yeah that uh -huh. okay so what 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 are we doing here there this one Did, use it Oh, is it getting like the RGB value of the picture? The average RGB value? I... I don't know. It broke. And here's Flamin' Maze, the third maze game today. Yeah, I bet the developer took a whole lot of LSD uh, before making this game. Here we go. Uh, how do we start? Is it tap the thing on top, which is like insert money? Do we have to literally insert a dollar bill into the lightning port of my iPad for this to work? I don't want to do that. I think this is broken. So now it's just a psychedelic background. Well, there you go. Here's Pond Tycoon. You know I want sounds all in the... I want to hear those sounds. <laughs> all right, just... A really nice explosion animation explodes into a logo that just uses the Arial font for their name. Quality. Look at this title screen. Highly detailed. Level one, please. Welcome to Pond Store Tycoon. Let's to start. Let's take a look at the objectives for this level. Get a daily sales volume of $150 and complete a pawn transaction. Alright, let's buy an upgrade to our CD DVD rack. Have to go to the inventory. Do we want all of them, I think? Yes, alright. 
Now open the store. Start day. Look at these people. You have a customer that would like to sell you an an uniki item. Um, and I can't wait to get an uniki item. Tap them to begin the bargaining process. All right. They have a cordless drill. I need at least eighty-eight dollars. Its value is fifty-six dollars. I'll give you forty-four. I'm thinking like 44. How about $69? Now that's a meme. Why did my mic on OBS go red for a second? My mic, I don't know. Whatever. Oh, because I talked too high. Or too loud, rather. Is that a new feature? That might be. I guess it, it very slightly peaked is what must have happened there. Because I updated OBS and it has new features, which is cool. I'll have to mess around with them soon. Uh, but yeah. Nice offer. I will... I can't accept it, so I'll just make the offer. It's sold for 64. And lost money. The meme was too good to pass up, though. So I'll take it as a win. I sold five CDs. I need more sales volume. Let's start the day. You can make them go faster. 8.4 inch tablet. You want $150. I'm sorry. This tablet is five years old. Nobody wants it anymore. I'll give you 30 bucks for it. Not going to sell. figures so five CDs I can upgrade my CD rack or I can buy a video game case I'm gonna buy that and I'll put five video games in stock and let's go another cordless drill he needs 55 for it. This one's worth 70 and he only wants 55. Um, I'll do 45. So for 54, I get $9. $9 for that drill. I made $150. I did it. I beat the level. And then the so sell 6 DVDs in a day, make 60 profits from pawns, have 70% popularity crazy. And yawn, 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 yawn. Why am I so tired? Probably because I had to go to sleep fairly early. I don't know why. But I am. So that's the pawn game. It's all right. It seems kind of interesting. Let's play the final 19 games. Yakov, thanks for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Again, I think. I guess it's a resub. Although, wouldn't it say you subscribed for two months in a row? Well,. I don't know why I didn't. Maybe that's just chatty, not showing how many months in a row you subscribe. But thank you. Thank you for resubscribing. I appreciate it. No worries about lurking. I lurk almost all the time in chats. This is by the people who made Motorbike. Motorbike. It's Punk Trader. This looks like the most boring thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So, let's play it. Yes, quick play. Do we have to register? 
horizontal lines, moving averages, time scale. Right? Sell, sell, sell. Instructions. What am I doing with my life that has led me to play this of all games? Uh, it's spazzing out now. I didn't press any of those things for like the past 10 seconds. Okay, I give up. Oh, no, we got, we got stuff. We've got a chart. It's a moving average. It's moving. Oh, man. Buy. I want all of them. Uh, then it had to go down. Go up, 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 up. I've lost $41. I've lost $27, uh, $13, great, that was it, that's the whole game. <laughs> Is it really the whole game? You're, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, mate. You can't be serious, mate. All right, this one's heading downhill. Sell, 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 sell. And now it's heading up, great. You can tell I'm great at stocks. Reminded me of when I played the mock stock market game and I shorted uh, HP and they went up like 22%. But I did buy Papa John's and they went up 10% in a day, so that's great. Gotta give it to the Papa. He knows stocks. I, I lost negative $351. Did I gain $351 or did I lose $351? I don't know. I don't think I should try out the HD version of Punk Trader. Let's be real here. But we do have Bike Quad. It's like a bike, but four of them. I'm sure that's how it's like. You just tape four bikes together and you get Bike Quad. Powered by Unity. Bike Race Squad. Thanks for changing the title on me. Oh, this reminds me of that Tour of France game. Do you think we'll accelerate infinitely fast? I can barely drive on the far lanes. This is as far as I can go. How do we make the gap? Make that, I guess. Bike quad. Just one of those games. Oops. No. Okay, let's talk about formations. Let's not talk about formations. How about that? Let's let's go to hell instead. Don't know if you knew this or not, but hell is powered by unity. And it would like to send you notifications as well. Say no to notifications from hell. This is the music music in hell extreme stunts hell rider this looks like it's made by the same developer tilt to balance all right great play again you know what i think the reason this reminds me of that tour of france game is because it's the same developer I remember looking at other games. Oh god, what is my biker doing? Stop pumping the bike. I totally did not intend to do that for a flip. And we've frozen. And we gotta load a demo game. During the other game. No, you do not get my location. No, you do not get a demo game. 
This is the worst thing I've ever played in my life. Don't worry. This one might be worse. You know Curious George? You know how he rides a bike? Well, this is George Monkey. The bike riding monkey. Actually, I had a toy where Curious George would ride a unicycle, I think, along a wire. And he would sort of balance on it. I wonder if I still have that toy lying around. Probably not. Well, that took a long time to load. It's George Monkey. Look at how high resolution George Monkey is compared to everything else. Clearly they spent the most effort on him. Also, the aspect ratio. Oh, this is... I know what this is. It's hill climb racing or whatever that thing's called. You have to get to 50,000 meters. Apparently I've already ridden three kilometers on my bike. Whoops, he just exploded into nothingness. Why does George Monkey have a mustache? Why is he not pedaling the bike? Why can it only go two miles an hour? Why are the gas and brake pedals on a car? Why does my bike have boost? Why does my bike have boost? Why does my bike need to pick up fuel? What is anything? <laughs> oh man, no effort was put into the creation of this game. No effort. Get ready for the bumps. I wonder if this is running so because it's on an old iPad. Okay, I'm... I cannot tolerate any more George Monkey. Instead, I must tolerate Koala the Octopus. Koala versus octopus. Maybe with Game Maker Studio. Why about they actually painted this? It's an octopus invasion. Help koala stack up on cheeseburgers before the octopus apocalypse. Oh, I see. Koala must press all the cheeseburgers into his house and close the doors without any octopuses install inside. Isn't it octopi? Whatever. Yes, I am also 100% sure system updates degrade the performance of older models. You can move koala using the arrow keys. TNT blows up octopuses. Koala can push the TNT. You get points for every cheeseburger moved to the house and for every octopus you blow up. Don't let an octopus get koala. Good luck. Alright. I'm koala. Oh, the D-pad is terrible! I killed an octopus. Killed two of them. Uh, I did it! Koala triumphs! Now there are two cheeseburgers. Oh! Two cheeseburgers! How could this be? Seems like a shovelware game you'd find in a collection of 500 best shovelware games from 1996 on, you know, a Windows disc. And, you know, after three levels it'll say, Please register your shareware for the low, low price of $27.95 plus shipping and handling. We'll mail you a floppy disk. 
containing all 50 levels of Koala the Octopus. It's a nice painting. It's not a good game. Next up is Place and Taste. McDonald's logo is upside down. No, it's not. I'm loving it. So this is, I guess, an official McDonald's app from not an English speaking country. Let's gram. No. Let's ranking. I'm assuming this is leaderboards. Uh, it's not working. Great. Move update. Give me the move update. No, you have to log in with Facebook to play this. I want to place and taste, but I can't. That was a great app. Glad I downloaded it. By Smile Kids Games. Oh, look at their logo. That's an original logo for a video game development company. Highly original. This loading screen reminds me of Construct 2, maybe? That is the Face Punch logo. It's also that generic happy face meme. It's one of the old original memes. Is this even going to load? You have 10 seconds to load, or I'm closing you. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You failed! You have failed me. It didn't even work. Here's meme faces, speaking of memes, by Sutin and Map. I think it was Sutin and Ma app. Oh, it's that logo. That's loading screen again, but it actually loaded this time. Meme faces game free. Kill me now. My face is that skull in the background. All right. Oh, it's bobbly music. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. How do I play this? Oh, I see. It's match the things. It just took a long time to load. Look at the meme faces. Meme face. It loads so badly. Eat me, that's a meme. Meme me up, Scotty. Hey, hey, hey. What was that one? Was it this one? Yay! Hey, hey, hey. No. Hey, hey, oh, look at the pumpkin meme, meme me up Scotty, you win, look at that, you win Dex, could that be any more compressed, could they make that text any wider? Well, it was a good timing for the music to end. Here's Robot Escape. I'm a robot. Let's escape. Did they just partially retext the textures of a like Halloween card matching game? Probably. Probably so. Couldn't even find 10 meme faces. <laughs> so they just had to use some Halloween pictures. I'm a robot. Let's escape. Robot. Oh, wow. 
Your legs are very bent, young lady. Don't load. No, I, I tapped the app. And now it... I've ruined everything. Ruined everything. Hey, you know what I ruined? Everything. Let's try this again. I'm ready for you, Ad. Nice, it doesn't even turn off the music. Multiple competing audio tracks for this ad. It doesn't even have an X button. I have to watch the entire thing. Play robot escape. This better be the best game ever. Just let me play the game. This has got to be the blue robot. All right. Oh, this. Literally just an endless runner. I I like the platforms. Those are great. The perspective is just fantastic there. Is it at time? No, it's just slow down time. What is going on with this stuff? Okay, that spring was not helpful. You don't want to hit the spring. I hit the spring. No, no more ads. That was weird, because you were on the very top of the road, but then the perspective, like you could climb up the road as well. A very strange perspective there. Like it should just be a straight line platform, but nope, they had to just make the collision the sprite itself, which is not how you want to do it. Next up is potato balls. I don't know about you, but I like balls. These are potato balls. And I like potatoes as well. I should clear that out. Make that clear, rather. What's my favorite type of ball? Probably the basket variety. Or no, the bouncy ball. I like the bouncy ball. But no, this is a potato ball. And what is going on? Okay, avoid the tomatoes. I think I remember this now. You can also jump, but that slows you down. So don't jump. Don't jump. Jumping is bad. Also, the slowdown is real. Let's go fast, because you gotta. Ah, uh, spuds. Well, there's a game. Next up is Raging Chefs. Now I want you to take a good look at this icon, okay? Looks like a pretty decent icon. Like you could see someone spent some effort making that icon look good, okay? Now I want you to look at what the game looks like. Once it loads, of course. Patience is a virtue, so they say. Here's uh, what the game looks like. I think they spent all of their money on the icon, which, to be fair, is not a bad way of going about it. So I don't know what the game actually is like. I just saw the picture. 
Cooking challenge, Pyongir level. Pyongir, I have no idea what that is. Two eggs and one water, so we gotta boil some eggs, I guess. Kitchen is open. So are you trying to get the things to go on the table? Oh no, you... Wait, what? Well, I did it. Two eggs, one milk. Same thing as before. Okay. There's my milk. Egg. Wow. Now this is a game. Two eggs, one butter. Now you get to fry the eggs. Look at all these variations of the egg. But don't you know, Funk, all you have to do is just take ingredients, put them into a bowl, and... A meal is made. That's it. I can promote it to level two. No, we actually have to put multiple things in, like that. Not those. I need that, yes. Thank you. Ha! ha! Well, I barely had enough time to actually beat that. I wonder if it's possible to have an unwinnable level. I've had enough of the Raging Chefs. I have not had enough of bicycle games, though. It's time to bring them back. No ads, that's true. That, that's good of them, I suppose. This is Bicycle Rider Racing 2017. Nice five second music loop. Okay, nice black screen in the middle. I think that's supposed to be an ad. Be the first in the race. There's an idea. Oh no, that, that, that guy has fallen off. I have no idea if these people are supposed to be guys or girls. Also, my storage is almost full. That's probably an issue. All these apps and their save data. Making this device run slowly. I should probably start uninstalling the garbage. Is this physically not going to work now? Okay, there we go. Man, yeah. Oh, oh, God. The frames need to be measured in frames per minute on this game. I'm biking. Biking to some drum and bass. Oh, is that the finish line up there already? That was fast. I won. Cool. How about I don't play again and I remove some apps like Timber. There's an app I can remove. And... Catfish. 
I want to remove apps that I know I'm never going to want to play again. Punk Trader Light. That Japanese thing. Cave Diver Tommy. Uh, that thing. I'm never going to play Dog Drop again. Or Breakfast Maker. Uh, that didn't work. That didn't work. So I freed up a bit of space, probably. Let's play another bicycle game. A Japanese bicycling app, apparently. Or maybe Korean. Who knows. This... This looks Korean. So we've got purple giant finger dude riding a bike. At least he's actually pedaling it. It's something that about half these games don't do. And now I'm pedaling in a bike. That's great. Also, I can double jump on a bike. There's something oddly amazing about this music. Oh, I see. Gotta crouch for that. I bet that's not uncomfortable at all. What's the bird doing? Oh, the bird stops you. To jump over the bird. Now, I'm really tired already. I've really been streaming for not even two hours. It's only 10:30. This has just been a long week. If I didn't stay up that late last night, but. Okay, this seems like it could go for a long time. It's hard to lose. Okay, I've had enough. Yeah, he just jumps in midair, he can double jump. I've pressed the button to go to home, and it froze. iPad has officially frozen. Can't make it lock. Gonna have to do a hard reboot, I think. Oh, there it goes. It went. Man, it's struggling. Struggling with that app. Let me. Let me go through these and kill them all. Remember when we played all these great apps? I bet you do if you're watching. And I bet you don't if you weren't. Here's City Rooftop something. What is that something? I don't know until it loads. Rooftop bicycle, there we go. I have a feeling this is going to run like garbage. 
There are some Team 6 apps on iOS. I've already played most of them, actually. There's one that is a kart racer with Pizza Dude, which is pretty amazing. Hey, Bob Bob. How are you doing? I bet this is going to take a very long time to load. Actually, no, I bet it's not going to load at all. Because my iPad is too old. So yeah, the reason this is going to be the last stream for a while, well, one, I've done a lot of them uh, recently, and two, I am borrowing this cable from the tech office that I work at, and I should probably give it back eventually. Uh, the loading bar is moving, guys! New iPad fund. Well, I mean, I have the money to buy one if I wanted one. I just don't know if I do. Because while I have the money to buy one, I'm planning on using that money to buy other games that come out in the future that are good games that I'll actually want to play. And also, I have slightly less money than I thought I did a few weeks ago. Because I checked how much money I had, and it was less than what I thought it would be. It's always great when that happens, right? Good games, I know. Can you believe it? Okay, this might be loading, but if it's taking that long... I, I'm... no. Nuh-uh. No way, Jose. I'm liking the bicycle jump logo, which is actually bicycle run. Um, I like it when a game has a good identity crisis. Um... Yeah, uh, you know, we're biking in Halloween Topia land, running or jumping, one or the other, I don't know. Oh, yeah. As far as the good games go, I'm talking about Sonic Mania, Project Cars 2, Forza 7, uh, maybe F1 2017, and I know there are others. I don't know if I'm going to stream all of them or any of them. Okay, I need bicycle jump slash run in my life. So I'm going to give you another try to load. Because, just look at this. Look at this. And also, I promised myself that I would buy a PS4 if the new system update allows you to change your username. Have not heard any confirmation that it does that yet. So if it does not, then I will not buy a PS4. But if it does, I will. You may think, Tin, that's a stupid reason to base buying a PS4 on, but then I I will rebut that statement by saying my username on the PlayStation Network is SonicBoom768. I feel like I should be able to change that. Here's Candy Mound. I did say Sonic Mania. Those words came out of my mouth. Yeah, I heard the PC version got delayed, but I don't really care that much because I'm going to get the Switch version, which does not uh, come out on the 29th. It comes out when it was supposed to, all along the 15th. I do have a PS3. I streamed it once. The issue is it's downstairs, and my parents use it as a Blu-ray player slash Netflix machine. So a lot of the time I can't pull it out of the entertainment system or entertainment center and use it to stream. This is Moto GP1. I like how when they made this game, they already knew they were going to make sequels. Uh, I'm going to play alone because I have no friends. Uh, that is, yeah, if I saw someone racing that on Moto GP. We've got incompetent music, but sped up. Oh, it's just a tiny wings. It's literally just tiny wings. The 
best uh, Tiny Wings clone available is... What's it called? I just lost... I just lost my train of thought due to this guy screaming AWESOME! It's called Time Something. I don't remember the exact name, which is not helpful. Awesome! Wait, what? What does this button do? Why does it turn my car into... Why does it turn my bike into another bike? Turbo boost. I want to jump, but I think I finished. Yay! Oh, look at that. Let's start. Great design there. Yeah, I just turned into a different machine. Whenever I try to do a stunt, my bike turns into a tiny car. Because, you know... Logic. Okay, I've had enough. I have had enough of Candy Mountain. There was not much candy involved there. There are three games left. Let's hope they're good. I don't think this one's going to be good. I lied. It's funny game. <laughs> it's funny game. It's poultry ace down a hill. I should clarify. So is the developer funny game? That's some janky angry bird in the crossy road esque car. with some generic farm music. Select your poultry. I, I guess this one, I have no coins. And this map as well. Can we play? Are we playing? We are playing, oh. Oh no. Great, plenty of time to avoid that. Well, I have that. That was Bird Cart slash Funny Game slash Poultry Ace Downhill. Could not decide on the name for that one. Uh, next up is Toast Girl. Anime girl with toast in her mouth. It's my favorite kind of anime girl. Let's start. Okay. Alarm's gone off. Oop. Oh no. Oh no. This is far more anime than I thought it was going to be. How do I do that? Oh. Is this music stolen? Or... I 
they actually make it for this game. Those people are trying to murder you with soccer balls. How am I running in place? I did it. Okay, avoid the rolling rocks. Okay, that's just not cool. I got the P. I got a broken heart, I guess. One, two, three, four. Oh, so am I supposed to not hit the P? I want to avoid the P or else I have to live the rest of my life with some ugly rich guy, I think. That's how this works. I do not want to play without installing. I do not want to play at all. Avoid the P. That was not fair. Is it bad that I kind of like this? Don't get crushed. Oops. Oh. Oops. You should... You should not download Taylor. I got a broken heart. I... Now the strongest guy in the world is staying me. He threw that boulder himself. You think this has an end? Whoops. Is that the same guy again? Okay, last attempt. Alright, go underneath the sumo wrestlers. And now there's a giant robot trying to crush me. Oh dear. Did I make it? Go! Oh no! Now that was evil! Go on, we're so close. Do I have to? No. Good. Okay. We did it! Oh, this, this is like you have to memorize it almost. 
なのですね違う I wonder if you do actually finish after the goal. So it's center left right for the first three. I don't want a mini game. I don't want Galaxy of Heroes or Star Wars. Or, you know, it crashed. Well, we'll never get to know what happens to Toast Girl. She's dead. Uh, instead, we have to play some Naruto games, which I'm sure have been officially licensed by the Naruto company. Um, they'd like to send us some notifications. Let's let's not allow that. Oh man, Naruto free games. Tro Chol Hai in Ani Dep. I don't think that's English. We've got Kep Hin Tim O Jiang now. Zepgak and Hot Games. I want Hot Games. Are you a big fan of Despicable Me? Then this is a must-have app for you. Are you playing GTA 5 and need some help? Well, I need some help, but uh, never got into GTA 5. Love Super Mario and his braveness to save his love? Try this new Mario Penguin version here. Hold on, I accidentally hit something. Tagalog, Mar no, Tagalog Naruto is the best. I want to try Mario Penguin. <laughs> what is Mario Penguin? Uh, was it that candy quiz game? I don't know. Aha. Crazy Captain Penguin run and ski to save his love's air wing. Now that's the title. I'll get this. Super cool app team proudly presents to you latest games. Captain Penguin run and ski to save his love. Click install to play this game, which is easy to play yet so fun and challenge to help the Captain Penguin finish the journey and save his love. Now, what does this have to do with Mario? Oh, it's a novel. He wrote a novel for this description. I don't even know if you can read this. It's very small. Great love for Lady Penguin has put him on adventures to save his partner life out of the kidnapping of the Cold Stone. Let's slip on the ice and bumpy exciting on the ice of the Arctic. Several rounds of challenges from easy to difficult awaits anyone brave to lead and help the penguin find his way to the success of the journey. Of course, after overcoming all the obstacles, you will get reward. The game will help you improve your skill, IQ level, and reaction together with practice, your patience, and most importantly, have fun with friends and family. Period. How to play. Applying finger dexterity to control the ice to rescue birds to float. The full glacier rocks will hinder your move. Do not let the penguin fall into water, and that's all you need to pay attention. Okay, be, be persevering and patient to complete the game to the end, and send us a screenshot of the destination so that we can send you a special gift, okay? Okay, sure. So if we finish the game, they want us to send a screenshot and they'll give us something? Hmm... A spot, please. Stay connected. You can sign up to receive information and the best games of our latest by clicking like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash supercoolappteam. They fixed the display issue and they gave it a 100% discount for limited time. That limited time being at least three years. Highly limited. So let's play whatever this is. And then we'll go back to that Naruto thing.
cool. Super cool app team. Making super cool apps. Super Mario Penguin. Okay, that background of the Christmas tree, I used that as my wallpaper like five years ago on my iPad. I mean, on my, on my Mac Mini. I'm not even making that up. I literally use that exact wallpaper. They stole it from Google Images. Okay. Everything is kind of blurry. Oh no, he stole my girlfriend. Clipart bot doesn't ignore butt spot all the time, but if it happen if the command happens too quickly, it won't see it, I find. Go, okay. Oh. So you have to hold this. Oh, I won. Okay. Oh, so they have to get on the buoy. I see. So level two, you do nothing and you win. Great. What a game. Bouncy! Cool. I got three stars at level. I am the bounce captain. And I died. Oh, I'm, I can assure you that is identical to Super Mario World. As someone who has played both, I can tell you there are no differences between the two. Differences do not exist. They're identical. Let's get Fnihe of Naruto. Hin 3. Yep. Oh, uh, is this? I don't. I don't want to play that. You have to do the puzzles. And then this is what is this? Memo game. You have to memorize the things. Start. I like how the backwards tile is the app icon. That's great. Hey, I found it. That's great when like. You have a bunch of tiles that are the same image. Okay. And finally, Zep Gak. What is this? Is this DDR? Is this Tetris? What is this? I, I don't know. It looks like Tetris. But whenever I tap anything, it, it goes, it breaks. Play. Something, okay, we're playing. You have to... I don't know, you swipe right and it goes away. I don't know. Doc Trujan, please. Are these more apps? From Super Cool App Team. Click here to watch Naruto online. I would love to. Or is it here? Uh, don't allow location. Okay, so it's just... Here's... A YouTube link to Naruto things on YouTube. Great. Thanks for that. Those are the games. Was this photo gallery? Look at that DeviantArt image of Naruto crying. Look at that DeviantArt image of Naruto being angry. Look at that one. And that one. 
and that one, 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 and that one. Okay, we're back to the beginning. Toast Girl is a flash game. That, that doesn't necessarily surprise me. Uh, but that, that, that's every app that I had on my iPad. Every single one of them that are interesting, I should say. I've gone through them all and I think I think we learned a lot through this experience the past four or so streams where I've done this. We've learned a lot about the app store especially the app store a couple years ago where a lot of these apps came from. We've learned that it's hard to make bike games that are good. Uh, I still think, I think of all the apps I streamed, this is my favorite tour of France where they just completely forgot to limit your speed and you could just break the game in like two seconds well, not literally two seconds but you get the idea I screwed up but you can also uh, tap to go faster which I forgot about so if you just hold the screen like this and don't move the iPad and you close out of the demo game well gee thanks stop giving me ads that are making me lose I'm I'm trying to break the game So yeah, at this point, if I just don't move anything, keep the iPad as still as possible, great things will happen. I noticed I'm going kind of fast now. I guess they thought you would always run into those guys, but they didn't realize if you biked on the edge. You could just go forever. Also, if I keep the iPad still, I will continue to be able to go forever. Which means if I just let it sit, it could, I could probably rack up an infinite score. But I'm not going to do that. This was not from the first stream. This was the th third one, I think. And you can tilt and then immediately die. Yeah, it's in games three folder. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the top games that I streamed, I think. The other bike simulator one's another good one. Oh, what were other good ones? Animals Fantasy, of course. I think Baba Taxi would be if it worked better than it did, I should say. Your Pizza Adventure was kind of amazing. Obstacle Run, the title screen was ridiculous. Oh, Car Boxing was stupid. And then we had Shower Story was dumb. Gassy Dad. Gassy Dad was pretty great. 2AM Driver. It's always been one of my favorites. So those are a whole lot of apps that we took a look at. Like almost 200. Which, you know, is more than five. Just throwing that out there. It's a factual statement. 200 is more than five. 
but I think I think I'm gonna head off to bed. I know it's only 11, but I'm kind of tired. I've got up at a relatively early time all week and starting this week for the next two weeks, I've got to get up an hour earlier than that. So that's great. Next stream, I don't know, might be more sheem, steam. Might be more steam at shovelware. Because there's a bunch of new things that have come out. Now that, um, oh, two things. The final batch of Steam Greenlight games, which is like four or 5,000, is flooding the Steam store. And also the Steam Direct marketplace. Uh, means that there's a whole lot more games coming out for Steam now, and a lot of them are not good. So those are something to take a look at. Um, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to head on off. Let's see. I am going to host Randy Kins, who is streaming Metopia. You can watch or you cannot watch. That's up to you. But until then, have a good night. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.